you know, in Vegas. But here we go, guys, on Smashville Game 1. Corin versus Lucina. Mr. E versus Ryuga. Let's see how it goes. Also, thank God we're not in Vegas anymore, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool for like a day and a half, but... Yeah. Like 112, <laughs> like Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, we got Mr. E with a big start. Almost solely dealing damage with Dancing Blades here. Oh, and Ryuga fighting his way out of the corner with a pin, saying, get off me, man. I'm not going to give you a roll. I'm not scared. Good spacing by Mr. E to avoid that shield grab, and he's going to get quite a bit of percent as his reward right now. Ryuga, uh, 85%. Yeah, this is getting out of hand quick. And yes, the counter, an essential tool for Martha and Lucina to deal with Corrin's recovery. Though, it doesn't work every time, just because she right. kind of jets up very quickly. So depending on which hitbox, you actually make contact with the counter, it can or can't yeah. hit that her was, away. That was kind of going to be my question, is how consistent uh, that could end up being. I think it's just a timing thing, right? Yeah, it's a little more than 50% consistent, I'd say, okay. in Martha Lucina's favor. So now Ryuga trying to figure something out. I don't think he's too far behind yet, especially with that you know kind of explosive burst kill power that Corrin has. I think he's doing just fine right now. Yeah, especially with Rage, man. Corrin is one of the exactly. scariest characters. 77, you absolutely can't feel too safe. Oh, almost catching that regular get up, and there we go. That's the low priority I was talking about. If you just challenge mm. Pin with any attack, it'll blow, blow right through it and clank it out. Do you think that's something you can react to consistently? Like, that seems... Not necessarily, but if you just read that they're going to go for side B, just challenge it instead yeah. of being scared and, and holding shield or something. Sure. Always keep it in the back of your head. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Mr. E actually with a decent amount of foreign experience himself, frozen the third ranked player in New York, uh, behind only to buzz an anti, by the way, yep. is a corn main, and he is super good. He, uh, they've met in bracket many times. That means he would just be one anywhere else. Like, right? I yeah. mean, with the buzz and anti, that's just a nightmare. Yeah, Mr. E, I believe, is ranked sixth in New York. Okay. So still fairly close to each other on the PR. Yeah. Right now, a slight lead for Mr. E, but it's nothing insurmountable. There we go. That corn pin, so much damage coming out. Ryuga is now evened it right back up. Oh, and the shield break. This should be death. Oh, no. Push him more. Push him more, dude. Oh, man. Hey, if you he think had just so? walked you him a little so? further. Yeah, like, I'm like pretty sure. Like one or sure. two inches, yeah. Yeah. Oh, just push him all the way to the edge. There was no reason not to. Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, Mr. E, maybe a little bit shaken by the fact that he just squandered a free victory, but, I mean, he's still very solidly in the lead here. As long as he doesn't get too hungry for these kills. Yeah. That can happen when you like lose a game that you think, or I'm sorry, when you lose a kill that you think was kind of guaranteed to you. You can't kind of throw yourself off a bit, but that Nair, he's doing just fine. Yeah, such a strong move. If you land that on a stand up from the edge, and can kill pretty early. And 134 definitely in that territory. Let's see, a drop zone fair could close it, but Ryuga taking the low recovery. I like that. But just a little bit too quick to come out of his shield, and Mr. E swiping him away. Yeah, one of the things that we're noticing is that Mr. E is consistently, he's not going for that counter anymore. It looks like right. he's more content to kind of sit at the ledge, try to ledge trap uh, what Ryuga is trying to do off on the side. So he's just kind of sitting there waiting for the fair, waiting for the nair or something like that. He doesn't want to give that, you know, 50-50 maybe on the counter and give up stage control when he could just get, you know, maybe free damage when he tries to come back on. Yeah, I definitely think Lucina was the pick for Mr. E. I don't think we'll be seeing the Marth at all during this set. No. And I'm not really sure who I would give the actual ratio advantage to between Lucina and Corrin. Uh, I don't know, I think the mobility makes me just slightly favor Lucina overall though. And we saw Mr. E really doing a good job of exhibiting uh, this matchup. Oh, okay. Getting scooped up by that up smash. Yeah. Actually, a, well, okay. Now you better kill him. That's most certainly going to do it. Could have done it with forward smash, shield breaker. Doesn't matter. But a very early stock for Mr. E in the first 25 seconds breaking yeah. that shield. Yeah, and that, that's a heartbreaker. That's something yep. that will kill your morale just instantly. Ryuga's just got to rally. Yeah, and Mr. E going for that down air off the stage. It's actually relatively easy to spike Corrin out of her up B with Lucina. You just have to place, oh, whoa, hold up. This match just got evened up real quick. Yeah, turned but it into a real match there. All he needed was that one stun into the uh, 
Big Chomper? Whatever it was called. Big Fist Chompy thing. Fist Chompy thing. That was yeah. That's Chompy cool. Fist thing? I don't know. <laughs> but either way, uh, wow. <laughs> I was ready to count Ryuga out of this set, Me but too. he was not. Doing just fine right now. There are those low percent strings that Corrin just excels in. Right now he's taking the lead. All right, gets the grab, knowing that Ryuga wanted to block after throwing a pretty safe aerial on shield. However, Mr. E not taking the bait. A lot of back ears. Nothing Millie really coming out of this. Jumps out of pin. I think that was the right option. Very smart on his part. Oh, Mr. E headhunting off the stage. Goes for a forward smash that almost certainly wouldn't have worked. But, I mean, in the event that he two-framed him, yeah. that would have been a hype moment. Yeah. That up air so dangerously close to killing, and you have to think that Mr. E and Ryuga both are ready for this counter to come out from Korin the next time that situation arises. You're right, yeah. How's See he gonna get down? Way. Wow, the late air dodge into the ground. He did there it, we there go. we go. Yep. He was holding on to that the whole time. Yeah. He didn't want to do it uh, because it was inconsistent, but at that point he's like, hey, I can pull this out one time. And he did it right there, and he got the, uh, he got the lucky hit. Good stuff on Mr. E's part. We were talking about how Corrin was going to go for a counter near the top of yeah. the screen, but yes, of course, can't forget about the offstage counter on Corrin's up B. Now, the reason that that's inconsistent is because a lot of times Corrin will be able to snap to the edge before suffering yep. the hitbox of counter, but because Ryuga was so low, he was forced to actually take that on the way yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. so far down, yeah. yeah. Now, could it go the other way? Could Corrin's counter kind of stuff Lucina, or is she too fast? On a B, uh, almost certain that Lucina would recover first. Yeah, I would, in I most would situations, think so. yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, it's very hard to hit them with a counter out of their up B. Way too quick. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So coming up for you, for you guys right now, it's That's a real, real crowd treat. pleaser. This is going to be a lot of fun. Woo! All right, Zero versus Cashmere coming up. We talked about the number two ranked player in the world, MK Leo. Now we're going for a number one, and we have another update. We <laughs> can't find him. Well, congratulations to Cashmere. <laughs> Two consecutive JV3s. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine? It, like blindingly fast. Zero? He got the world record on beating Zero. Oh, okay. So I think to fill the void, we're going to have Dyer from Central Florida versus Thunder, a.k.a. Uh, Falgod, formerly. He's an Ontario player. Okay. He's Ryu. He's, I believe, ranked fourth or fifth up there. Okay. A very, very solid player. He took me out of both a local and get on my level while I was up wow. there. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so I'm um, pretty sad to All see All right, don't be, yeah. don't be biased. Don't be biased in this match. <laughs> uh, I definitely like his Ryu, though. It's, it's nice and clean. Sure. He will be going up against Dyer, who plays Diddy Kong, though, and that matchup is just a, a struggle from the start, man. It is, yeah. R Ryu, one of those characters that a lot of people thought was incredibly strong, thought he was incredibly powerful, going to be very prevalent in the metagame, and then people were like, wait, why am I fighting him? Yeah. Kind of has the Luigi syndrome. Exactly. Like, just yeah. run away. That's all you have to do. And they both